Coming up on Around Kern County, July is Purple Ribbon Month. We're sharing about the importance of looking before you lock. And a member of our workforce has been given a Lifetime Achievement Award. We're spotlighting her amazing efforts when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Sofer. July is Purple Ribbon Month, and the Kern County Department of Human Services is encouraging parents and caregivers to look before they lock. As temperatures reach summer highs, DHS is working with local law enforcement to educate the community about keeping kids safe in and around cars. This awareness campaign is in honor of Caitlin's Law, which makes it a citable offense to leave children under the age of six alone in a car without the supervision of someone at least 12 years old. So in the case that you do see a baby in a hot car, you should act immediately. As any person would do, you would find a way to get into that car and under the Good Samaritan law, you are allowed to break into the vehicle and rescue this child. And once that is done, you should call 911 and make sure emergency service is on their way. Each year, DHS demonstrates just how hot temperatures in cars can get, hoping to raise awareness about the dangers of leaving children alone in cars unattended. Hey everybody, July is Purple Ribbon Month and we're here to remind you never leave a child alone in a vehicle, especially when it's hot like today. As you can see, it's 102 outside and inside the vehicle it's 138 degrees and that is hypothermia for a child. They could even die. So we have a little baby in here today, just a pretend doll to just give you a visual. And we just want to remind you, if you have a change in routine, some prevention tips are leave your purse in the back with the child, leave your backpack, leave anything to remind you to check the back seat, look before you lock. And for more tips on prevention, go to our website at kcdhs.org and you can follow us on social media. Today, we have the honor of spotlighting a Kern County employee who was recently honored for her contributions to Kern County. Meet Ellen Agert, the supervisor of Kern County Behavioral Health and Recovery Services 24-hour crisis hotline. Ellen was just awarded the Harvey L. Hall Lifetime Achievement Award for her dedication to suicide prevention and education in our community. Ellen is a four-time survivor of suicide loss and an attempt survivor herself. She not only leads Kern BHRS's survivor outreach team and runs the Survivors of Suicide Loss support group, but volunteers her time to conduct suicide prevention trainings across our county at schools and community organizations. Ellen also sits on a committee that plans an annual regional suicide prevention summit and is the founder of Save a Life Today, a local nonprofit dedicated to reducing Kern's rate of suicide. I want people to know that suicide is one of the most preventable causes of death. Not in all cases. You know, those of us who've lost loved ones have, you know, we have to get to the point where we realize it's not our fault, but many can be prevented. And the way to start that is to become suicide aware. Kern BHRS, we offer a couple trainings where take an hour long, we'll come to your business, your church, high schools, we will come any place to do this training. And it makes people more aware and reduces the stigma because there's so much stigma associated with suicide. Ellen has used her experiences and knowledge to create a comprehensive suicide prevention plan for Kern County. We are so proud and appreciative of your life-saving accomplishments, Ellen. Congratulations. There's a new California program helping Kern County homeowners. Our treasurer tax collector, Jordan Kaufman, recently announced a new pandemic relief program for eligible residents to catch up on past due housing and property tax payments. This is part of California's mortgage relief program which has expanded its eligibility to homeowners who were financially impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. The California Mortgage Relief Program, run by the California Housing Finance Agency, 
has expanded the mortgage relief program to include payment of delinquent property taxes. So eligible homeowners can qualify for up to $20,000 in property tax relief for delinquent taxes. To see if you qualify for assistance and to apply, please visit camortgagerelief.org. And we're ending today with a look at where you can get rid of your hazardous waste this month. Kern County Public Works is holding three household hazardous waste collection events throughout July. Beginning Saturday, July 16th, residents are encouraged to drop off anything that could be considered dangerous if lying around their homes, such as cleaning products, pesticides, and other chemicals at the Tehachapi Recycling and Sanitary Landfill from 9 in the morning until 1 in the afternoon. You can also get rid of your waste Wednesday, July 20th at the Glenville Transfer Station and Saturday, July 23rd at the Lebec Transfer Station. As a reminder, hazardous waste can always be dropped off at Kern County's permanent special waste facilities located in Bakersfield, Mojave, and Ridgecrest. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.